A guilty plea today by the Stanford cop who hit and killed a beloved pastor while responding to a call. Zachary Lockwood made his first appearance in Milford Superior Court. The case was transferred from Stanford due to a potential conflict of interest with the prosecutor there. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter has a story. Reverend Tommy Jackson's family was joined by their attorneys and dozens of supporters who packed the courtroom. And while the hearing itself was brief, Jackson's loved ones had plenty to say after. They not only want Zachary Lockwood's charge upgraded, they also want this case moved out of Milford. We well, thank you, God, that everything that we said and done today will be done according to your will and your word and your way. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Reverend Tommy Jackson's loved ones are relying on their faith and each other. They made the drive up I-95 to see the man charged in Jackson's death go before a judge. We are here to advocate and fight for justice in the honor of my father and in his name and what, it, what he would want. Jackson was a beloved pastor who was killed while crossing the street after getting the mail. Stanford officer Zachary Lockwood drove into him while responding to a minor accident. Lockwood was charged with misconduct with a motor vehicle. The misconduct with a motor vehicle is looking at negligence only. And I think the evidence shows us that this went above and beyond negligence. This Attorney Darnell Crossland characterized it as reckless. Crossland filed a motion to upgrade Lockwood's charge to second-degree manslaughter. Crossland points to Lockwood's arrest warrant, which says he was speeding instead of going with the flow of traffic, as he was told by a dispatcher. So when you do that, you consciously disregard the safety. You consciously disregard. When you say F that, you can make no other conclusion that he said, I don't give a what anybody else said. I'm going to do what I want to do, and he killed somebody because of that. State police concluded Lockwood was driving 65 miles per hour at one point and 46 miles per hour when he hit Jackson. The speed limit there is 25. Crossland and attorney Michael Skyber also told the Milford state's attorney they intend to file a motion for change of venue. They pointed to Milford's lack of diversity and their concerns about a jury if this case goes to trial. One week ago, a state trooper was found not guilty on all charges in a deadly use of force case. Seems like there is a bias already. I think that it was the unluck of the draw as far as we're concerned because of the fact that the racial makeup here just doesn't comport with what we view as the opportunity to get justice. Attorneys want this case moved to the Fairfield Judicial District in Bridgeport, citing the more diverse population, as well as it being more convenient for Jackson's family, who lives in Stamford. Lockwood's attorney had no comment as he left the courthouse, except to say this is a tragic accident. In Milford, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.